This is Ben Bahane from AFP. <clears throat> Quick question about the Pacific and Australian policy on the Pacific. The White Paper and many other papers have talked about the need for Australia to engage a lot more in the Pacific. Australia is a Melanesian country. Why have we not joined the Melanesian Spearhead Group, which happens to be headquartered here in Vanuatu? Well, Australia is a member of the Pacific Island Forum, and in that capacity we work very closely with all the Pacific nations, and we have bilateral friendships and partnerships with them all. And so we work very effectively, and of course, um, if we were invited to join other groups, we would of course consider it. But we are working very effectively. The Pacific is a foreign policy priority for Australia. Um, most of our aid, most of our $4 billion in um, overseas development assistance is invested here in the Pacific. Yeah, Minister, if I can follow on from my AFP colleagues' uh, question. Um, there's been a lot of tit-for-tat between China and Australia over who should be dominant, who should be uh, the, the best friend to the Pacific. Um, there was an ANU uh, research paper came out recently on the China blog suggesting that perhaps there was room for economic cooperation, that perhaps Australia and China could actually join forces on infrastructure development projects. Do you see any prospect for that? Well, I don't accept your characterisation of the relationship. We welcome further investment here in the Pacific from countries around the world. There's a great need for more infrastructure spending in the Pacific, and Australia and New Zealand and other traditional donors here are welcoming new investment. Um, what we don't want to see is vulnerable economies burdened with too much debt. What we do want to see is positive productivity enhancing infrastructure. In fact, Australia and China already work on aid programs together. For example, in PNG, we're in partnership in a elimination of malaria project. And so I think that that's the beginning of the kind of partnership we will see throughout the Pacific. It's in the interests of the Pacific Island nations for there to be more infrastructure investment. And you see more potential for this rather than less in the future? Absolutely. The World Bank and the Asian Development Bank Development Bank have made it quite clear that there's a chronic shortage of investment in infrastructure in the Pacific. Australia, for example, is building an undersea uh, cable for PNG and Solomon Islands. Uh, we're providing significant infrastructure in the Pacific, but so are other countries, China, Japan, uh, the United Kingdom. In fact, we're at a hospital that was originally built by Britain and Australia is now rebuilding it after the devastation of Tropical Cyclone Pan. So we work in partnership together and that's in the interests of all nations here in the Pacific. Thank you. Thank you.